Welcome to Crayola Creative Workshop. I'm Allison. And I'm Liana. One thing we love are projects that we can make that do more than just hang on our refrigerator. So this Valentine's Day, we created a 3D tic-tac-toe game. We're calling it Hugs and Kisses Tic-Tac-Toe, and we made it with our favorite Crayola Neon Color Explosion. It's art you can play with. Yeah, that's what's cool about it. Plus, it's easy, and you just need two pieces of the Neon Color Explosion paper and some scissors. And we're going to show you today a really cool snip and slide technique that you can use to make other projects, too. Here's how we made it. We started with just two pieces of Color Explosion paper to make this whole entire game, which is very cool. The first step is to cut one of them into strips, and you're going to need eight strips that are about one inch wide and eight inches long. And what's great is the paper is already eight inches long, so you just need to use your ruler to measure the one inch strips. You're also going to need to cut the other one into pieces as well. Now these are two inches by four inches, so we just pretty much draw a line down the middle, and we've got these going every two inches. So we've already cut them out, we've got our rectangles here, we've got our strips here, and now we get to decorate, which is one of our favorite parts of any project. So Liana's going to decorate right now using the neon color explosion markers, which we love because the color's so bright on colored paper. And I'm going to design these so that they have the X's and the O's on them. So I'll just show you. I love the way the blue looks on this paint. Look how cool that looks. That is cool. Ooh, that blue really pops on there too. So we're going to make five of our rectangles, O's, and we're going to make five of them X's on opposite colors, because you know there's two colors on each one. So we're going to make five X's and five O's, which I've already done over here. I've got my X's and O's here. And Leon is going to design all of these strips. And luckily, we already have some that are designed. So Leon, I'll leave these over here for you to finish. But these are some that are already designed. And next, we'll show you the cool snip and slide technique that I was talking to you about. So I'll show you how to make, you want to do this one because you're really good at this one, and I'll show them okay. how to do the strips. So to make the strips, uh, let's use let's use this one. You're going to need to make snips in specific places to be able to make your tic-tac-toe game, but this isn't very complicated. It's actually pretty easy. You're going to need to make, make slips at one inch, three inches, at five inches, and at seven inches. And I just use the neon color explosion marker to mark my places. Could I borrow the scissors for a second? Sure. So I'm going to show you that I'm cutting at one inch from the end and I'm only going about halfway down. This is three inches from that end, five inches from that end, and seven inches from that end. Okay, so I've got little snips. Now Liana is already cutting into the X's and O's. So Liana, show us how you do that. So Liana's cutting from one end about halfway in and you can see that she cut in about as wide as a pinky. She just cut one slit about halfway down, and now she's cutting from the opposite edge, one inch down, so we'll show you that. Both of them go right about down to the middle, and you're gonna need to do that with all of your rectangles. But we've already done it, so we can show you how to, actually, you wanna just put one of those together, Liana, and I'll sure. get all my strips out ready to make tic-tac-toe. So to put them together, you just curve it around, and you slide in with the snips. There you go. It's kind of crooked. Yes, so, it is. So what do you need to do? You can cut a little farther in. Right. So if you find out that your two slits don't come in quite the right way, you just cut in a little bit farther. Good problem solving, Liana. And now they'll fit. There. Good. There you go. And what's cool is it'll stand up. Okay, we got to know. Now I'll show you, if you want to work on some more of those or decorate your strips, Liana, I'll show them how to put together the tic-tac-toe board. The tic-tac-toe board works very similarly to how we just made that. We basically are going to nest one set of slits inside the others, and we're going to wiggle them down so they stand up like that. So I'll just show you how to do these really quickly. really cool. I know, cool. Hey, do you want to play a game? Okay. What do you want to be, X's or O's? Um, X's. Okay, so your kiss is I'm hugs. Can I go first? Yes.
To make your hugs and kisses 3D tic-tac-toe, you'll need Crayola neon color explosion paper and markers, Crayola scissors, a ruler, and a partner to play with.